Hey everybody, welcome to another video review. This is of the J &D Studios one-third scale hyper-realistic statue of Mira from Aquaman as portrayed by Amber Heard. It's been a while since I've done an actual statue review of this magnitude. I've had her for like, I think close to a year, but you know, how to get the right um, frame of mind to do a review with the justice that it deserves of something so amazing. And I also got a new camera for my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which has been just, by the way, a complete disaster. Um, it has a macro mode and it has this mode, which is 4K, but um, it's really, really hard to switch between the two to the point where I actually have to do this in two separate videos and then, you know, obviously stitch them together. So I hope you appreciate the 4K quality. Let's start first things first with a certificate of authenticity. As you can see, this is number 303 out of 1200. As with all of JND's certificates of authenticity, it's very classy. A black square plaque signed by the artist So Young Lee with all the information at the bottom. So there you have it in a very classy envelope as well. All right, I'm gonna try to back up a little bit and then we just kind of move her around so you can kind of see what she looks like from far away. Unfortunately, she's so tall at one third scale, I can't back up all the way. You just kind of see most of her, but not her feet. I wanted to turn her a couple of times so you can kind of see her pose See her with her crown on, the long, lustrous red hair, the curve of her back. It's a beautiful pose, very graceful, especially pay attention to the arms. Really, really nice. And now I have to go down to the legs and the base. So now, you know, j &D Studios is known for their very minimalistic bases. They're all essentially square, black. They're, I think, obligated by licensing to put the name of the movie in the front. But, you know, respecting a lot of collectors who don't like a very garish uh, name at the bottom, they do it all in black, so it blends almost invisibly with the base itself. If you want to take a look, here is, um, you know, Aquaman, as you can see. And then look at the stunning detail of the space. It looks like there's muddy water all over the place. Muddy, dirty rock, muddy water. You can almost touch it and convince yourself that, you know, it'll be actually wet. So completely insane. And now from here, I want to show you something kind of crazy. If I go too close, watch, it's going to start blurring. See that? It starts blurring. So this is as close as I can get to give you the 4K resolution. So I'll do it from here. And then in the second part of the video, I'll be able to engage macro mode and get really, really close, like within seriously, like a few millimeters, but you will have a more of a grainy effect, okay? But again, I'm gonna go as close as I can to show you the detail of this costume, which is just literally insane. So you might see a little bit of blur. I'm just trying to adjust it constantly as I move up and down to kind of again showcase the sharp detail here. So this looks just absolutely phenomenal. So the pattern is almost like a bee's honeycomb. You can see the hexagonal shapes, but there's a whole bunch of different colors to give it a variety, you know, both solid and also textured. And of course, all of the, the different, you know, um, armor plating as well. Again, it's getting blurry, so I'm moving back. I want to get as close as I can to show you this detail um, without it again blurring out. So you can see that throughout her entire costume really is just tons of this hexagonal detail. It's just like an actually a remarkable uh, costume, which you know we don't see very much of in the movie because in the movie you know she's moving constantly. So we don't really get a chance to appreciate it, but in this statue form, you can just see how 
it's a spectacular it is. Here's like the zipper all the way along the side, the metal zipper, and you can see actually the you know the the wrinkles right where it would normally fit on her body. It's like a body glove. So they sculpted those wrinkles in, just like along the you know the feet. You can actually see a little bit of that as well, which I'll show you. Here's the inside all the way up. And then inside here all the way up. Again, there's a lot of Mira videos out there. This is an older piece now. Look at the zipper right here. I'm just trying to show it with the best camera I can, with as many angles as I can. Look at all the fingers beautifully sculpted individually. Again, I need closer and I won't, it'll start blurring up. So look at the beautiful work on the hands, right over here. Very, very naturalistic pose of those hands. I'm gonna kind of go now, you can actually see the wrinkles of the palms, which is pretty crazy. Just like that. All right. Try to look at the back of her legs now. And then her buttocks, very, very form fitting the small of her back, the hair, the mass of red curls. Unlike earlier releases, um, they didn't overdo it with the hairspray, so it just doesn't feel like a rock hard, you know, like rock hard hairspray. So it's much more naturalistic. I mean, you have a few a way more stray strands of hair, but again, the curls are a lot more natural and they stayed very nice. Here's the, the Aquaman sigil. And then here we go to the, the money shot, so to speak, the beautiful face, the beautiful portrait. Um, this one is true to the costume, so you see a lot more cleavage than with the other earlier releases. Um, you know, like Catwoman, Anne Hathaway, and 1984 Wonder Woman, of course, are just basically heads, neck up. This one actually you get to see a little bit of the curvature of the breasts and the chest. Um, on the second half of the video, I'll be showing you uh, quite a bit more close-ups. You can see the texturing of the skin, but this is about as close as I can get without the blur starting to happen. So again, you see here, the blur is starting, to, the blur is starting right here, and then so I have to move back so the, the blur disappears. Right here is the perfect focal length to showcase who she is. So this is still super, super clear resolution. I wanna to try to keep that as I move her around. You can see the interplay of the shadows on her face. We'll go medium shot with her turning around. So the, the goal of this video, of course, is to you know try to showcase as much of her as possible for those of you who don't own her. When you own her, and she's like, you know, in your room, natural lighting, the skin and the silicon is much darker. She looks literally alive. I mean, here, she looks good, right? We got a 4K camera going, she looks good. The phone is trying to focus a little bit of light on her. Um, I know she looks really good, but in real life, that's where she comes to life. You know, she actually, uh, in person, she actually feels like a living, breathing human being, like a mini Amber Heard. <laughs> Um, you know, if you want that, for better or for worse, a real Amber Heard uh, in your, you know, in your kitchen, in your collection room, uh, right in front of you. So, you know, that's medium length. And then we're trying to get a little bit closer. I think the detail is still there. At this, at this length, it's always a problem with any camera, but especially with just like a cell phone camera, no matter how good you do run the risk of distorting the likeness because of the fish lens effect. Um, I haven't really figured out a way to get rid of that, ex except other than just sort of moving it away a little bit. But right about here, I think we're still there. We haven't lost it yet. Right here, it started to blur, right? It started to blur right here, so we got to back up. So still sharp. This is about as close as I can get. And then we're gonna just start moving her around so you can see her better. 
but yeah. We'll look from above, get nice views of her from different angles. And then a little more straight up. Keep on turning her, trying to get a little bit closer. Get as close as I can to pick up the detail without her blurring out on me. And then the second half of the video, you'll go super macro to see. But hopefully you can appreciate how absolutely beautiful uh, she looks. This is next level in terms of statue art. And then we can look. I give you the top down view, we'll go to the bottom up view. Here you go. Kind of showcases the dark green. And beautiful work on the eyelashes, which we'll see later. Another thing that, you know, Jandy really outdid themselves with this one is the paint uh, application. Very difficult to paint silicon in a realistic way, especially with the skin. Um, it's like a secret in and of itself, completely different from painting resin. And they just put such a beautiful naturalistic paint job on her. And then they can actually even put makeup effects, like the color of the lips. So they just kind of did an absolutely phenomenal job. Look at that. Let's back up. I mean, if it wasn't for the controversy that Amber Heard is involved in, I mean, I'm just convinced that the statue would be just crazy. I mean, they made 1,200 of her, so they anticipated that she was going to be super, super, you know, desirable. Um, but unfortunately, there was a little bit of a miscalculation there. I think they actually put this one up for pre-order, like literally a couple weeks before the trial. And so it was just kind of crazy. Um, but guys, I mean, you know, look at this. If you just... You know, if, you don't, if you don't care about her and just care about like a beautiful female statue, I mean, this is one of the best ever done. A stunning likeness. And you know, again, because of the drama surrounding her, you can have her for a reasonable price. There's some good deals on this out there. And I hope that you know, watching this video kind of shows you how absolutely stunning this is. Going back and forth, checking things out. That beautiful texturing. This is probably the nicest angle, nicest distance. All right, guys. So I'm gonna stop here and, and we're gonna to cut to the second part of the video where I'm going to change the camera of this phone into the macro view. It'll be a little bit grainier, not quite as you know, like 4K level sharp as this part, but I'm gonna be able to come like super close as an example, get like literally like this close without blurring her out. Okay, here, this is about as close as I can get without blurring her out. But the second half of the video, I'll be able to get that close and can still see some extra detail, I hope. But yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful statue. The best likeness I've ever heard has Mira out there by far. Uh, I think this is better than the Infinity Studios bust. Not even close, you know, like this is next level. Look at that. Kind of like my favorite three-quarter view portrait. Three-quarter view portrait. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, back it up. So I hope that this really kind of showcases off the colors 
the depth of the colors. I don't know how many 4K um, reviews of this are out there. Of this length, this is like, I shudder to think how many gigs this is taking, but I hope that it's worth it, again, to get that clarity and that quality. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Just do this all day, look at that. Just drink in all the detail. The one thing I can't show you as well um, are those hands. It's just really difficult to get the hands. I think the camera focuses on the costume over the hands, but we'll take care of that when we cut to the macro part. See, I'm trying to give you more detail of the hands, the palm. Just see if I can do that a little bit. I don't think that works. But yeah, we'll, we'll see a little bit more of that on macro. The macro section coming up. All right, I'm gonna end it on her face. I'll see you after the cut. All right, everybody, welcome back after the cut. I'm having to work with sort of the idiosyncrasies of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, where um, it doesn't actually, the camera has a hard time switching, switching between macro and non-macro. And so I'm having to just stitch this together. I wanted to show you what this thing looks like um, under macro view so that it doesn't blur out. So check her out. This is under 4K, super close magnification. I'm gonna turn this around, give you varying angles first of her beautiful portrait. You can see her massive red curls. Again, if I did this normally, it would never let me get this close. It would blur out. So I'm in macro mode right now. It's maybe a little bit grainy, but at least you can actually see all the details over here. Right on top. And then Hopefully I don't fish lens her too much. But here we go. Look at that beautiful side profile. See a little touch of the teeth. Look at the pores and the coloration of the silicon skin. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the eyes. Look at the lashes. They hand punch the top and the bottom of those beautiful glass eyes. Look, the, look at the texturing of her face, of the silicon face. Now, obviously, you're not meant to look so close where even the individual pores and wrinkles are seen. That's not how you're meant to see her, but just an absolutely phenomenal likeness of Amber Heard as Mira. Now, we're gonna take a look from above, check out her chest, the curvature of her breasts, the bosom, so to speak. This one has a lot more silicon than the previous portraits, like for instance, 1984 Wonder Woman or Anne Hathaway's Catwoman, which is basically the head. Here you have like, you know, the entire chest that is true to her costume. Again, just really showcasing off all the fine random detail of the silicon. And then let's just take a look at the, the costume itself. Look at all of the micro texturing, the beautiful green and all the different hexagons, the patterns of the hexagons. And then you have sort of the, the gold stitches. And then within the hexagons, you can see the texturing as well. Take a look. Really showing off all of that detail, macro mode, just pretty stunning. Look at all of this all throughout. As long as I stay this close to the statue, it will not exit macro mode. 
and I'll be able to showcase all of that detail for you. The minute I start moving away is when it switches to the other camera and then I can't get back into macro mode again, which kind of sucks. So here again, just trying to show as much close-up detail as I can. Look at the boots, absolutely remarkable. Again, the gold highlights, the gold stitches, as I would call them. And then look at the base, muddy rock, muddy water. Very realistically done. And then here, let's get a nice close up of her fingers. Again, look at the glistening silicon right here. You can see the nails right over here. Let's look at the other hand. Here's her fingers casting a spell. Look at the thumb. Absolutely phenomenal work, again, by JNA. It's hard to do the hands well. Really, really hard. We can actually see, again, the silicon texture. And then right back up to the curvature of the bosom, as well as the face. So here she is. Kind of a medium shot now. Again, we're still using the macro lens on this phone. A little bit closer. Look at the paint application on her skin. It's actually really, really good. Better in my opinion than before. It's one of their latest releases. Hopefully as I get closer, you can actually see some of the detail of the chest area, the skin there, the wrinkles, the pore lines. Okay, super close, you can see a little hint of the teeth, the lips. It's just pretty insane. And then of course those beautiful eyes, glass eyes. And then finally, because we don't want to fish lens her, you know, oftentimes you fish lens, and then we're gonna back up so you can kind of check her out from medium range. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely insane, in, in, excuse me, absolutely insane detail on her costume, on this body armor. It's completely gorgeous from head to toe. So, yeah, I have to stitch it together. There's no way to actually easily transition from macro vision, which is what we're doing right now, to more like a medium or far away shot. This is still pretty good. Kind of giving you top down view. So you can really get to see how stunning the statue is. I mean, Amber Heard is, whatever you think of her, she's very beautiful. And JND knocked out of the park, bringing her to life as Mira. This is like a spectacular likeness. Their best female, really. Until Platinum Wonder Woman comes to town, at least. But we'll have to wait for that review. And definitely, this is like, just like insane suit. Look at all of that texture. So I'm gonna go super close. And that is, look at, all the, look at all the little tiny pock marks. Look at all the little texturing. I'm less than a centimeter away, capturing all of that for you. I mean, that is, I'm just kind of coming back out. That is just an insane amount of detail on that costume. People are always so um, sort of, you know, focused on her 
portrait, understandably, they kind of don't understand how beautiful that costume is. And then again, look at the fingers separated, each finger separately sculpted. Look at the fingers ready to cast her water magic spell. Just also very, very like, you know, natural uh, pose as well. There it goes, look at all of the, the texturing of the rock. All right, I've given you almost 10 minutes of her in extreme close-up view. Back out. Trying to kind of get a look at the neck. You can actually see the hint of the sternocleidomastoid muscles. Again, you can see the collarbones the sternoclavicular joints, just very, very, very beautifully sculpted. Here we go, side view, full on view. I'm trying to just dynamically move the camera so you can just see her from all different angles. See what beautiful likeness this is. Okay, I think we're gonna end it on this. You know, for just to let you know, I actually shot an entire review and then just had to scrap it because I was struggling to kind of get these shots for you. Because this is kind of what 4K is about, is you know, showing this level of detail this close. So I'm glad I was actually able to figure out a workaround for the struggles of this camera or this phone switching between cameras. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna end on this frame, moving back, 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 so we can see Mira looking at us. All right, I hope you enjoyed those uh, 10 minutes of super close-up macro shots in 4K. Until next time, do take care.